This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2. I'm on level 5, Woodland Cubbies, and part... Uh, I'm on the Python version. Goals. Defeat the ogres. Check the last cubby. Check the Woodland Cubbies for enemies, but beware. There may not always be an enemy to attack. You now have access to the powerful if statements. Check your, your toolbar in the middle of the pro promaticon for extra information. Use an if statement to check the existence of an enemy. So enemy, okay, they make this variable if enemy, okay. Pass doesn't mean anything. It helps close if statements. Otherwise, the Python interpreter raises an error. Okay, so what pass actually means, well, we'll get into that later, actually. So, But let's hit start. Okay, so let's check out what they have for us. They want us to add code here. Obviously, there's a bunch of code here. Don't let that intimidate us. And there's always these comments. So a hashtag is a comment. Computers skip over that when running your code, but they're just for humans. So they are helpful tips or more info. Attack the enemy here. Okay, so attack... And then who do I want to attack? Well, we named the enemy up here enemy using a variable. So I will go ahead and say, oh, no, whoops. Attack enemy. Yes, that's what we wanted. Okay. Oh, use an if statement to check if an enemy exists. So just like we are up here, and I'm going to get rid of some of these extra enters, just like we are up here, and we use this if statement. What that does is our character, here, I'll show you. Our hero goes to 40, 1933. At 1933, the code then says, okay, look around, hero, find nearest enemy, create this variable enemy. If enemy, and what that does, that means if you found an enemy. If enemy exists, then attack that enemy. That way, if there is no enemy, we don't tell our hero to attack anything. So the if asks the computer a question. This question is if enemy, if enemy exists. So you want the same thing down here. I should have written attack twice, right? Once, twice, and then they have this pass statement. Okay, and then we want to add the whole thing down here now. So if enemy, because they also already did find nearest enemy, so if enemy and then if the enemy exists, well, we want to attack an enemy and attack enemy. Let's see what this will do. We might have to add a pass down here. Oh, wow, I flew. For now, levels are randomized. And you'll have to submit to see if you win in real time. Oh, okay. Got it. Click the submit button to try to beat the level. Got it. So let's see. So they're randomized. So this time no enemy appeared for me here, which is what the if statement lets us do. Ta-da! So this was the code that worked for me. You wanted to have these if statements. 